Mm-hmm. Just a normal person. I'm just walking around the map here. Oh! 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 oh my eyes! Oh! Oh! What you just witnessed was a classic case of eye rape. In this tutorial, we'll be going over tone maps and why they are brilliant. Now, here are the settings you just saw. We have a light environment with some pretty nice white light and uh, ENV underscore sun, shadow control. Uh, if you don't know that, that does dynamic shadows. Um, here we just have lots of white stuff. White, white, white. My free city maps have got tons of white, and if you've got a map with lots of bright textures everywhere, you will eye rape your people. Now, um, <clears throat> I'm just doing this tutorial because I saw, uh, I saw 3 kicks Philip went over HDR but failed to mention tone maps. Now, um, I'm just going to the light bounce map. Crap. I was going to the light bounce. Uh, VMF and copying over the tone map I used for that. A tone map is effectively. <clears throat> well, sort of what the tone map is. The tone map is what brightens and darkens to the level um, when you're running in HDR. It's pretty much your eyes and the exposure of your eyes. Now, here I have an ENV underscore tone map controller. It's important when you've got an HDR map that you make one of these. Uh, I've named it Tone Map. You can just call it TM or Bob if you really, uh, if you really must. Uh, next, up, I've made a Logic Auto. Logic Auto, you know, fires when the map spawns or well, when something happens and it automatically triggers it. Anyway, first of all, we shall show you outputs. Make a new output. Uh, I'll delete this one. Uh, set it to your Tone Map. On map spawn, which is what we usually use with logic autos, uh, set auto exposure max. Uh, this will set the maximum exposure that your eyes can go to uh, until, well, until a logic relay changes it or something else changes it. You go with the parameter override of, I'd say, 1. Point, no, I'd just call it 1. Uh, then you can copy that, paste, or change this to set auto exposure min. Which is the minimum exposure your eyes can be until changed. Uh, after a delay, no, I don't want to delay, do we? What was I talking about? Parameter override of, I'd say, 0 0.7 in this case, because it's pretty bright. You don't want too much of a range, otherwise, the level will be constantly darkening and brightening uh, whenever you look at bright things and dark things. Or dark things and bright things, is, it should be the way around. Okay, now I'm just going to copy again. Uh, an important one is to set the bloom scale. Now you might notice that Portal is HDR, but you never really see much bloom, do you? Um, as you do in episode th episode one. The thing with that is that they set the bloom scale to something really low. Uh, for instance, with this, I might set it to about 0.35, perhaps. I think that sounds about right. Now, if I uh, if I compile this again, we will see a noticeable difference, hopefully. Yeah, we do. Um, it's exactly beautiful. It's still pretty bright. I think the actual lighting, which I set to the light environment, is a bit too bright in this case. Uh, so that has to be changed. But overall, this is a lot better than before. Uh, I might put the bloom scale down to about 0 0.15 or 0 0.2. And perhaps, uh, I think the exposure is low enough already, just judging by the walls and how dark they are. So using a combination of, um, of tone map and uh, light environment settings, you can make a quite an evenly lit map. Evenly as in not too bright, not too dark. I don't mean constantly lit, that's just disgusting, but uh, y you get my drift. So this has been a tutorial by Hayugami. I shall uh, probably see you in a tutorial in the future sometime, or just in another video. Cheerio!